didn't plan. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. That's great. No, that's fine. Don't feel like there's no right or wrong answer. Oh my god, I'm s <laughs> I'm sweating up a storm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that question was going to be in there. I would have had something better. <laughs> My name is Elizabeth Delilah Soto. I'm an analyst, too, with the Department of Transportation and Highways, and I am Mexican-American. So I uh, joined the military in 2004, and I uh, ets I got out in 2013, and I left as a Sergeant E5. So I started off as a 71 Lima, which eventually phased out and uh, transitioned to a 42 Alpha, which is a human resource specialist. And um, after a few years of serving as a re human resource specialist, I uh, became a, I'm so sorry, <laughs> this is gonna be edited. I became a, um, I'm so sorry, I can't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, let me just think of the name. I'm so sorry, I forgot what I did. I did the, um, okay, so after, after I, um, I transitioned from the 42 Alpha, which is human resource specialist, I became a, uh, a member of the funeral detail. So I was in charge of delivering the flags to the fallen members' families who have um, returned home from Iraq, Afghanistan during that time period. Um, and then after, a uh, few years with the funeral detail, I became a gu guidance counselor for the state of Illinois. Well, initially I, I got a job. I forgot all about the, um, I started working as a, a mail carrier, and then I transitioned into the guidance counseling at the Veterans Assistance Commission of Cook County, and then eventually I, I transitioned here. The definition really, I was born here. Um, I am Mexican-American because my parents uh, my father actually was born in Mexico and um, he immigrated here. He is now a, a United States citizen and my mother was born here from um, a Mexican father as well who was born in Mexico. Um, so by default, I am, <laughs> am Mexican-American. I'm very proud of my culture, my history. Um, my children are also Mexican-American. So it's, it's very important for my children and my family to identify not only being Mexican, but also American. I think both cultures, um, they've grown up in a Mexican-American household, so they're very important to uh, recognize um, their own ancestry, especially, you know, um, intermediate family. Um, but we are, I mean, we're involved. Our community is highly predominant Mexican-American, and they're surrounded by the culture. Um, speaking both languages, very important to us. We're just very, a very proud family <laughs> to identify as both Mexican American. Hello, yes, congratulations. <laughs> yes, excited about uh, again this opportunity. You know, the president's initiatives and opportunities. It's always great to be able to talk about you know okay. some of the you know ethnic makeup that make this department what it is, and just been glad to have you aboard. You know, just have you celebrated the year yet? Not yet, right? No, not, uh, yet. Not, yet. Yeah. not that you're counting, but I guess that's a, <laughs> a testing. You know exactly when you know that anniversary date is, but. Uh, Really glad that you're part of this team. Being a public service to me is being someone who volunteers to fill a role um, for someone else in need. And again, that resonates um, with my ideals and I attempt to convey that through the work that I do with my department. And um, I just so happen to be a Mexican-American. <laughs> I love to make pozole, I do. So I, I'm gonna have to say, that this, that that's probably my favorite uh, traditional Mexican uh, dish. Not only to eat, but to make. And you can't have it everywhere. So. <laughs>